Hello, um, today I'm going to be doing a uh, problem solve. Um, I'm going to be teaching you the solution for code forces problem. Um, this problem is 26, 236A. It's boy and girl. It's a beginner's problem. And um, I'm basically just going to go through the solution and how to solve it. And let's get into it. So I'm going to read out the problem. Those b days, many boys use beautiful girls' photos as avatars and forums. So it is pretty hard to tell the gender of a user at the first glance. Last year, our hero went to a forum and had a nice chat with the beauty. After that, they talked very often, and eventually they became a couple in the network. But yesterday, he came to see her and found out that she is actually a strong man. Our hero is very sad, and he too is tired to love again now. He So he came up with a way to recognize his users' genders by their username. If the distinct characters is odd, then there's a female. He's a male, but if he's not, then he's a female. So you're given the string and determine the gender. Okay. Um, yeah, this is just a problem where you need to find um, the count um, of each letter, and if the count is greater than one, then it's not distinct, so you don't add it, but the count is um, equal to one, then you add to the count, and then at the end you determine if the count is odd or even, and then based on that you print out chat with her or not, right? Um, so yeah, let's get into um, solving this problem here. And here we go, we have our code pulled up now. So let's read in our stuff here. So we have our username, which equals to an input, sorry, I spelled it wrong. And then we also have the length of our username, which you're going to need. So your length of the username, and then we also have we're going to make our username into a list so we can iterate through it easier and basically access the um, different values of it. So we have the count of the number distinct, we're just going to call it um, number of the distinct, and then we're also going to have um, our count and stored list. We're, I'm going to explain what these do later, but for now we're just iterating through um, username. And then, so if the username count of i, and if this is greater than 1, uh, we're just going to pass, um, but if it's, uh, if it's not, and, um, if, wait, no, if, uh, i is in stored, then you would pass. Because we have to keep track of which ones we have counted, right? Um, but if it's not, then we just add it, to, add it to count. So number distinct minus equals one, and then we add stored because we need to have like number of distinct. So we have to subtract it from the number of distinct um, variables. But if it's not, then so if username count i is let's just say less than or equal to one number distinct plus equals one. Right, we just append that. And then our last um, sort of code here is just number distinct divided by two. So if we're checking if it's even, then we print chat with her. But if it's not, then we print ignore him. Okay. And let's test this problem. We need to check this input, so we just copy this. And we get chat with her, Xiao Dao. We get ignore him, and then 7k plus. We should get chat with her, correct. Oops. There we go. And, alright, uh, so let me submit it here. And, yeah, it's accepted. So, here is the acceptance right here. I've done this a little bit while ago, so here it is. As you can see, it did work. Um, hope this helped you. If any comments, any suggestions, anything like that, put it in the description. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.